Glad we got the high tops, no water got through. <laughs> Just kidding. This is it. I'm on my way to get Jay. Got about an hour and a half to get Mike. About three hours from Guy, and about seven and a half hours from Smooth Water Outfitters. We've got a seven night, eight day trip planned up to Maple Mountain through Lady Evelyn Smooth Water, Obabaca River Provincial Park. We're gonna hike up Maple Mountain, and we'll be back in a week and a half. 9 o'clock a.m. Saturday morning. Been waiting for this trip for about a year. This is our big trip. I look forward to it every year. Tonight we're staying at Smooth Water Outfitters. In a cabin there. And we leave tomorrow morning. We've got about a 30 kilometer paddle tomorrow. So the first two days are a lot of paddling. Let's get started. We are back in Kamagami. August 13th today. We've got a eight day trip. Just putting off Red Squirrel Lake right now at the lovely campground there. <laughs> and we are on our way over to Sandy Inlet, where we put in last year. Long day today. I think it's about 25 or 30 kilometers, but it's mostly paddling, so we should. Coming up to our first portage here, Red Squirrel to Sandy Inlet, Ferguson Bay. Can we get out there? Well, we made it to Napoleon Mountain. We've decided to hike up it this time. See what it's all about. So we'll take our boats up to the top of this straight up hill here and then drop them and do the hike. Pretty hot though. Took a look at the Napoleon Mountain Trail and it looks pretty nasty. We decided just to move on for now. Plan that for another day when it's not a 30 kilometer day. Pretty rocky trail here though. I don't remember this last time. I had the canoe last time, so it was a little blacked out. <laughs> Continuing across the north end of Lake Tomogamy, we are just coming out into Sharp Rock Inlet. Bit of a headwind, which is probably going to be with us. 
for the rest of the day. Diamond Lake here. Headwind's not too bad, thankfully. It was pretty bad. I got sharp rocks and portage, but oh here it's not bad. 19 kilometers down, we got about five to go. Pretty good day. You can see one of our sites from last year in the, right in front of Mike there, which is cool. Two loons in front of the boat here. I don't think they're going to get worse. Yeah. I thought this part was going to be really bad. Right there. Fine. big 25 kilometer day we found home for the night southern lady evelyn the uh leftovers just that way but it's a pretty sprawling site there's lots of options but not like a spectacular site but it'll do we're not blown away by it but we also are a little tired so we're gonna set up camp Just cleaning up camp here on Monday morning, Lady Evelyn. We are off to Hobart today. I think we have 20 kilometers. A couple portages, we're not sure if we're even there, so. 19.5. 19.5, he <laughs> says. So we'll see. I believe the portages are there, but we'll have to see what's going on. About 9.30. Get it out of here. Uh oh, hang on. Close. Oh, it's kind of nice. We are headed to Hobart. Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this sweater off. Actually, I'll do it at the first portage. No, that's all right. So little chilly. 19 and a half kilometers, as I said. Some questionable portage existence. Mike is apparently going on his knees. Why don't you just bend over the front of the canoe like Rose? <laughs> Every night I see you. I'm the queen of the world. It's Yeah. Not bad at all. 
I can almost tell you've been doing this for a while. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh Jesus! What? That was a big snake. Oh. Like this thick. Oh Jesus! Time to show up. Yeah. <laughs> Current situation. Glad I got the high tops, no water got through. <laughs> Just kidding, well. A little bit of muskeg. You're not walking out. No. I dragged the canoe by the rope. Yeah. And we got out to that log. What log? It's submerged. It's uh. <laughs> You see that that piece of driftwood standing go, up? Yeah, go wider, Jay. And just grab the rope. The box done, so when you get in, I'll be able to see. If you guys want to take a minute, we'll get in some open water and you can wash your shoes off. Oh. I'm just going to go barefoot in the canoe. We don't have any more portaging. Oh, okay. So let's get out in the water because it's a little muddy. Right, all right, we're just out on the Willow Island Lake. That was nasty getting the boat in the water. We all went up to our knees in the mud, so. A lot of paddling left. 15 kilometers of paddling left. No more portages though. Pulled over on the side of the Lady Evelyn River, north of Willow, Willow something. And uh, just gonna get some lunch, warm our feet up because they're all soaking wet. And then we have to go that way, another five kilometers, so not too much more, but we are 12 kilometers in for the day. Yep. We're just gonna warm up for an hour or so. So it looks nice. Heading up South Gut Lake. You're about to turn into a peatland reserve. I'm not really sure what that is. I think it's like a muskeg. But I'm hoping there's enough open water for us to get up to Hobart. You're just drinking, right? I never know if you're making water or just taking a drink. I don't want to blow past you if you're making water. Okay. Yeah. Right here in the middle. Throw it the best, yeah. Maple Mountain right there. I don't know if you can see the fire tower on the camera, but it's the only one we've ever seen.
Nice. Nice little hike here. Inward. Yeah. Feels like it's like an enchanted forest. I feel like Shrek now. Well, not a swamp though. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are on the north end of Hobart Lake. Checked every site. This is the one that probably the nicest. There's a cool rock site, but there were some people on it, which is weird because we haven't seen anybody today. So it's kind of a fairy tale site, though. It's like a bunch of small spruce trees. Kind of neat. So, we'll stay here for two nights. Probably gonna Maple Mountain tomorrow. Which, from the front of our site, is a cool view. Right there. I'm gonna put our shoes out on the rocks because they are soaking wet. Tuesday morning and we are headed up there. Maple Mountain Day. So we just got past a few beaver dams, and that right there is Maple Mountain. You can see from the fire tower there on top. Yes, sir. She's waiting for us. You guys ready or what? Just about to start Maple Mountain. Looks like a nice day. Pretty muddy.
elevation gain about 200 meters right now. Got a lake here, we're just trying to see how to get out to get water out of it, I think. meters to go. You're up. This is crazy. We're on the edge of a cliff. Now this is the steepest part of the climb. A bit of a drop here. We're still going up. Oh, this looks good. Scariest part now. Oh, are you okay? Okay. All right, we're gonna do the descent here. I'm gonna lie, it's pretty sketchy. It's quite the cliff that you're looking at, which makes it feel a lot worse, I think. But. There's some spots where it's straight down beside you, so I'll put the camera away. Checking with you at the bottom. Off the mountain top, and then we're gonna hike back down. Woo. Last few steps on the Maple Mountain climb. It's a good one. Pretty high up there. We'll go back to our site, get some food, take a swim. the next few days. Hold on. 10K. That's a day. Here, sitting here and camping. We just had a heated curbage battle here, unfortunately. I'm Jason one. It's about 7.30 on Hobart Lake, and we are sitting down at the campfire for a couple games, some coffee. It looks like a beautiful night here. I think there might be wildfires again, because there's a weird haze, but 
conquered Maple Mountain today. It's behind the camera there, and I can honestly say that that was a mountain climb. A lot of cliffs, climbing a 30-foot rickety ladder strapped to the side of a mountain. I think we all conquered some fears today, so that was pretty cool. This was our rest day, by the way. So tomorrow we're back down probably Lady Evelyn Lake or there's an unnamed lake with a site on it we're gonna check out. No real plans right now, but that sort of direction. And we will see what tomorrow brings us. Mm -hmm.